have our favorite colors and we daydream about painting our walls at home and really transforming the space. But have you ever considered how a color can affect your mood and how different colors can have different effects in the various rooms around your home? Now this morning, we are joined by interior designer, one of my favorites, Dylan Tomaj, who is here to share the beautiful chemistry of colors and Durham Smart Paint. They've sent us this amazing color wall with all of the amazing colors to help us with our discussion today. Dylan, Absolutely. Welcome back. Happy Good to Friday. have you, man. Good to have you. I'm loving that we're talking about color and the effects thereof on the human psyche. I mean, it's very, very interesting and something I'm sure you know a lot about. Um, but of course, when it comes to paint, it's so much more than just covering a wall. You've got to put some thought into it. Um, it means different things. It can make you feel different things. You can walk into a house. You can feel exhilarated. You can feel um, energized just by looking at a color. But, but why is it? Why does color affect us so much? So I think the beautiful thing about color is it does evoke either a good emotion or a bad emotion. So it either makes you feel really excited or really sad. And the whole point of it is just to be in a space that actually makes you feel where you want to be. Mm. Now, does that mean the same color will have the same effect on me? So will pink make them feel as happy as it does me? <laughs> well, <that's easy>. <laughs> 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 but I, but sorry, I really do think so. I think there's a general consensus of how color affects most people. Okay. But then again, we all have our personal Color, exactly, so, um, which is really important, right? So that you actually love either navy or red or something like that, okay. which is great. So, so, yeah, so it doesn't necessarily affect everyone the same way? Not at all, not at all. But there is the science behind the chemistry of color, which actually yeah. says most people prefer blue as a calming color or yellow yeah. as a more uplifting color. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, for most people, if you're going to be painting your bedroom like a bright red, um, you know, that will most certainly not have a calming effect and, uh, you know, doing your sleep. And that's most people, I'm sure. Exactly, and especially in the bedroom, because that's exactly where you don't want it to be so no. vibrant. You want it to be a lot more calmer, yeah. more serene, and go for more neutral tones, which I think is a lot better. Yeah. And I was sharing a personal story um, with Dylan a little bit earlier on when I was living in Hong Kong many years back. Um, yeah. in, their, in their metros and the subways, you know, there's so many people that use it every single day and they need to facilitate movement. So they paint the colors of the metro, of the, the, the subway walls outside when you get out, like an off weird color. And I've learned it, it facilitates people not wanting to be in that space ah. and just get people moving. And it's a, it's a psychological trick, which is amazing, and just show the effects of color as well. So we're talking about, let's two, take two spaces in the room, okay, the cool. kitchen and the bedroom. Let's, let's focus on the kitchen first, first and foremost. <laughs> Um, what would you say would, would be a good color for a kitchen, if so, you think about it? So the kitchen is the heart of the home, in my opinion. So I think mm. a kitchen should feel like very vibrant and very energetic. So yeah. using like pale yellows, uh, some oranges, terracottas, those sort of colors that are uplifting would be a good color choice for a, a kitchen. My mm. best friend, her kitchen, and the reason they um, bought the house was because no one wanted it because the kitchen was bright red, but the cabinets and everything was bright red. Now, in, in contrast to the bedroom, That's you true. said earlier calming tones, but do you mind showing us, like, when you say calming tones, this for me is still calming, but what, what is calming for you? So I don't think that's calming according to the <laughs> chemistry of color. Okay. So calming tones would be your navies, your, your, your stone colorways, your grays, which I think is really important as well. And that just evokes the right sense of serenity mm. yeah and it's important to get that you know that color is just right because as you say it might not be your favorite color sure. but it then it can facilitate a feeling exactly. now when it comes to to painting a room in in your house whether it being the kitchen or the bedroom the bathroom whatever it is does it come down to your favorite color does it really because i mean people this is the thing that i battle with the most is choosing a the colour if I want to paint. It is, I can imagine Zoe because, I mean, the indecisiveness here is, is real. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll go for really bright. So I think it also depends on which room you paint. So let's mm -hmm. consider that. So once yeah. you choose the room, uh, see what you want out of the room and then look at the right colour from, from that would actually associate with, so like the kitchen, which would be a warm tones, the bedroom, which would be cool tones, which would be a lot more calming. But if you do have a favourite colour, maybe use that as an accent wall. So don't just go balls right. to the wall with this, but really just do it in a very subtle way. Yeah. Okay. How popular are accent walls nowadays in terms of, you know, creating different unique spaces in the home? So I do think a lot of people are doing it because I think it does evoke that sense of um, 
creating your favorite space. And edginess. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of it personally, but I do think it's a great way to just make your space feel a little bit fresher and newer. And you can change it every season, which is great, right? Yeah. You see? It certainly is great. Well, listen, I've learned a lot. Thank you so much for <laughs> educating me on what the karma colors are. But Dylan, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you for always, you know, being so professional and helping us out. I mean, he used, he used all of his brain smarts and you were really, really hands-on involved with redoing the beautiful studio that we have. And, and, it, and it looks okay. It yeah. does, Dylan. It looks okay. Oh, no, it's really, really average. <laughs> no, it looks gorgeous, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Dylan Tomaj and Durham. They have over 1,200 interior and exterior colors to choose from. So whether you're hoping to create a relaxed and a calm mood or something more playful, energizing and passionate, Durham has the perfect color to set the right mood and reflect your personal style. Paint so smart, you'll style your life around it. You might even choose your dog to match your home. Durham, the paint that's made smart to look smart.